And a bit of good news for many of you frustrated with the now 63 day sun pass disruption. Ted Investigates Nora Pransky has been pushing the state to act for months and tonight they're finally ready to issue some refunds to the customers. And Noah, this, this comes only a day after you exposed some very sensitive internal memos. Yeah, we showed yesterday how the state didn't think they would be able to get all of our accounts updated, mm -hmm. at least for another month or more. And that's because they know the faster they process their massive backlog of tolls, the more customer bank accounts they're likely to overdraft. Today, when we took these problems to the governor for a third time now, we finally got some results. Governor Scott tells me FDOT would reimburse customers who get hit with bank fees because of unpredictable SunPass charges. But we kept getting stonewalled by the state on other questions. I asked the governor on this day 63 why he hasn't launched an investigation yet into who dropped the ball at FDOT. And I asked why financial penalties haven't even been threatened yet to the company he blames for this mess. The vendor will be held accountable. We'll find out exactly what happened. But something Last went question. horribly wrong in your department. Why has no investigation been launched yet? And we're going through, we're holding the vendor accountable. Um, they were not paying them. Um, we're finding out exactly what happened. But the way, if you look at the process, what you want to do, let's go fix the problem. And then we'll find out what happened to try to make sure it never happens again. Will you threaten Thank fines you. on the vendor? We're going to, I mean, no, I'm going to do everything I can to make sure I hold them accountable. There have been no fines or penalties assessed. What we're doing, if you think about what we're doing, is we're saying the first thing is we're saying we're not going to pay them anything. We are going through the backlog. No, nobody is has a fee, any uh, fines or penalties, and we're going to make sure if anybody has an overdraft, we'll reimburse them. The governor blames the contractor, but it's a contractor his Department of Transportation chose to hire for a $343 million job, despite their track record of tolling screw-ups in a half dozen other states. Now, you've done a lot of reporting about this company, Conduit, and they've got some very strong political ties. We have shown how Conduit has hired one of the top lobbyists in the state, a man who's very close to Governor Scott, mm -hmm. one of his top fundraisers for his Senate campaign. We've also shown how the founder of Conduit, a billionaire in Texas, mm -hmm. helped throw a fundraiser for Governor Scott last week. I asked, the, uh, I'm sorry, last month. Mm -hmm. I asked the governor about that today. He says he's an independently wealthy guy mm -hmm. and he goes to great lengths to ensure that there are no conflicts of interest. Mm -hmm. We have posted that entire exchange on our website. All right, thank you, Noah. And thank you for the video and the Sun Pass investigations that Noah's been breaking before anyone else can all be found in one place and only there, wtsb.com slash sunpass.